What's up everybody? This is Eric Reed Harry and today I'm going to be demonstrating for you a quick example of how to make the Epic. You're not going to see the full recipe here because I'm going to have that available in the description box below. I have it on my Etsy page. You're going to see the recipe and exactly how to mix it. I'm going to give you a brief uh, layout of how it's done. So the first thing you need to do when mixing Epic is you need your cellulose fiber material. This is picked up from Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, this is blown in insulation, usually used for attic spaces. Now, this is the easiest for most people to get. Uh, another uh, paper mulch you wanna get is from a hydro seeding company because they have a pure paper mix. You don't want the wood. So the first thing you do is you put your cellular fiber in the water and get it completely drenched. So as you can see, this is just uh, chopped up paper. Now the good thing about the hydro seeding paper is there's no impurities like plastic pieces and things like that. So it's not going to make a huge difference. Uh, the other thing with this paper is there's an ammonia smell when you mix it with the cement. And the bales that come from hydro seeding companies doesn't have that. Uh, and it's actually green in color. So anyway, you're going to take your bale and completely soak it in the water. I'm going to break it up and after it's broke up I'm going to be mixing it with my double paddle mixer just want to get it wet so just push it down Okay, so next you're going to want to take a bucket full and there's actually a particular amount. There's a number of buckets and half buckets that you need to know that I'm leaving out of this video because I want you to go for that recipe in my Etsy page. Don't be upset. I've given years of content away for free. I need to make some kind of money here. So you're going to take yourself a set amount of this uh, paper in a bucket and that exact number you can get in the description box below and you're going to throw it into your 50 gallon barrel so we have our bucket of uh, paper mixed with water and it's completely soaked Yeehaw. okay so your next step is going to be to add one bag of cement. Again, there's a set amount of paper you need to put in to get the mix correct. Otherwise, you're just doing your own experimentation. So, please, go down to my description box below. This is the only way we're making a living right now. So, I need your help this time. Anyway, to the cement. Set amount of paper mulch goes into the barrel and then one bag of cement. Now, if you, if you have someone helping you, you want to have them uh, pour the cement in while you're mixing. If you're doing it yourself, do a half a bag, mix it, and then put the other bag in. So, one second, I got to come back with some more safety gear. Another thing is, you need your safety glasses, your dust mask, and your gloves, which I don't have on, so I'll be right back. That's why you have your honey to remind you of. I'm using a double paddle mixer that's really good at grabbing the material from the bottom. So I'm just going to be dumping my entire bag of cement in and mixing it up.
Okay, so this is the double paddle mixer. This is a mortar mixer and they come single paddle and double. My recommendation for Epic and for Aircrete is using the double paddle mixer. It really mixes well, pulls the material up from the bottom and you can't beat it. I also have a link in the description box below to where you can order this from Amazon if you want to get this exact same one and I highly recommend it. To the mixing. Okay, so now after our paper mulch is well mixed with our Portland cement, we're going to add our styrofoam to the mix. Now, you haven't seen the steps that I took before this, but again, there's a certain ratio, a certain amount of foam that you add to get different mixes. And all that's going to be in the PDF on my Etsy page. So now we're going to mix up this styrofoam with the cement and the paper. And another thing, before I start mixing, to get your styrofoam shredded, if you're interested in purchasing the plans on how to make the same foam shredding machine that I make, and here's going to be a little video of it. Okay, so that was the machine, in case you hadn't seen that video before. So now I'm going to mix this uh, foam up with the paper and cement. Okay, so our paper, cement, and styrofoam have been mixed. And uh, you can see the consistency here. It's uh, pretty good for laying up onto walls there. If you had to lay it up, you can make it a little drier and it'll be even better for applying by hand. This one's a little bit moist. This is a little bit wetter and looser. And I'm doing this on purpose because I'm using this mix for my foundation. So, anyway, that's basically it. So you've seen now how the Epic is mixed up. Once again, you uh, can check the description box below for my Etsy link. Uh, to help support me and um, one last thing is you've seen the epic mix I'm also in the process of building a dome and we're actually standing on the 16 foot slab that I'm working on this is a epic mix I did before and um, what I'm doing now is the entire foundation is going to be an epic and I'm going to be making a dome air form and applying the epic to the dome in layers. So I'll be showing some of that in my videos, but I'm going to have a online video course on what I'm doing here. The A to Z of everything that I'm doing here so that anyone can duplicate this particular building system. Anyway, that's it for now. This is Aircrete Harry, and I'll catch you later. And Mrs. Aircrete on the camera. Love yeah, you, baby. buddy. Love you, honey. Mwah. All right, people. Love you, too. Catch you all. Peace out. Love you.